Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. All right, you guys, so I wanted to come out here and talk about the whole ASAP Rocky situation, honey. People have been begging me for the past three weeks to talk about this. I wanted to just kind of sit back, sip my tea, and watch how it all played out. But obviously, this is a never-ending damn saga, okay? So it's been crazy. Um, what happened is that three weeks ago, a video went viral of ASAP Rocky and his security people and his, you know, his team. They were beating the shit out some, you know, guys out there in Sweden. Um, and then along video came out and it showed that these guys were basically antagonizing ASAP and his crew harassing them for blocks upon blocks and so you know eventually ASAP and them snapped and they whooped the dude's ass So then ASAP Rocky got arrested. Um, none of his other cohorts were thrown in jail. Not even the guy who instigated the fight. They've all been let go. But the, you know, the black celebrity, ASAP Rocky, is still behind bars. Legend has it till this day. Well, actually, it's not a legend. It's fact, okay? So what's going down today is that basically ASAP Rocky's mother is finally speaking out. Because if you guys don't know, uh, Kanye West and Kim Kardashian, they caught their friend Trump and asked for a favor. They asked Trump to... To call the prime minister of Sweden and you know get ASAP out you know you're the president of the free world you're the president of America he should be able to listen to you mounting calls tonight for the release of an American rapper being held in a Swedish jail from some famous names even the president and the first lady are now involved in this the rapper ASAP Rocky is under investigation for alleged assault he says it was self-defense tonight what the video shows and here's Ariel Reshef Tonight, mounting anger after Swedish prosecutors announced rapper ASAP Rocky must remain behind bars while their investigation into this confrontation continues. TMZ obtaining the video showing the 30-year-old performer whose real name is Rakim Mayers and members of his entourage fighting in the streets of Stockholm on June 30th. But the rapper posting this video allegedly of the moments just before. We don't want no problems with these boys. They keep following us. Two men can be seen arguing with his bodyguard, throwing headphones at the group and following them as they try to walk away. They came into a situation where he acted in self-defense. The Grammy-nominated artist and two backup performers now beginning their third week in a Swedish jail. ASAP deemed a flight risk. Their detention sparking outrage. And today, President Trump saying many, including the First Lady, have asked him to intervene. I have been called by so many people asking me to help ASAP Rocky. David, the man seen fighting with the rapper while under investigation remains free. After speaking with Kanye West, President Trump says he plans to call the Swedish prime minister. David. Ariel, thank you. Uh, Trump tried to call and Sweden was like, uh, bitch, this is not America. Y'all don't run anything here. The prime minister, a.k.a. the president of Sweden, they don't get involved with criminal justice situations. So the president tweeted that he had been in touch with the Swedish prime minister, saying that ASAP was not a flight risk and offering to personally vouch for his bail. But that is not how things work in Sweden. The former Swedish Prime Minister Carl Bildt also tweeted that Donald Trump needs to understand that Sweden has an independent judiciary with any political meddling distinctly off limits. There's nothing you can tell me that I can tell them. Um, it's a whole separate entity. That's how it works out there in Sweden. And, you know, and good old Donald Trump didn't realize this, okay? So now ASAP Rocky's mother is talking and she's saying basically the president himself got involved and called the prime minister of Sweden and nothing was done. You know, she doesn't know what else to do. Yeah, go ahead and check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. What do you think the, is going on here? I don't want to call the race car, mm -hmm. okay? But that's what it's looking like, mm -hmm. you know? So if it walk like a duck and it quack like a duck, then it's a duck. Let me ask you most importantly, have you spoken to your son? Only once. Only once, and how long ago was that? Five days ago. Five days ago. How how did he sound? How is he doing? He sound okay. Mm -hmm. He sound all right. I mean, under the circumstances, but... You want to come home. Of course. What What do you think can be done? Like, what What can we do? Of course, you hear the president say he would post the bail. I think we all know it has nothing to do with bail money at this point. It has nothing to do with money at all. No. Um, what can we do? What can the people do? What 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 can be done? 
to I don't know. Yourself. That's why, you know, we thinking that if the president himself got involved, you know, and contacted who he did, if that ain't help, you know, mm -hmm. what will help? Because it's like Sweden is saying, you know, we don't care who we call. Mm -hmm. We're going to do what we do. Things happen uh, over the past decade, I would say, where there's always video evidence that tells one side of a story. And right. if a majority of people believe that one side of the story or it appears that way, there's always still someone who finds a way to prove that it's not what you see on the video. Mm -hmm. We've all seen the video. It seems pretty apparent what actually happened. Mm -hmm. um, wh where do you stand on the fact that the, the proof is right in front of our faces. I feel like Sweden is making an example out of our boys. Mm -hmm. Okay, and it's so unjust. All right, so you guys just saw what ASAP Rocky's mother has to say, and she seems like a really sweet woman. Um, I feel bad for her because, you know, no mother wants to see their child locked up, and especially being that she hasn't seen him in a while, she hasn't spoken to him in a week, so I feel bad for what she's going through as a mother. Um, but... I also feel like this. I know a lot of people are bringing up, you know, things that ASAP Rocky said in the past. And I keep seeing comments on my posts. You know, there's been a lot of debate on the posts where everybody's like, oh, it's above me now. I don't care. He didn't care about Mike Brown. He didn't care about Ferguson. Oh, well. So for y'all who are not familiar with some of the things that ASAP Rocky said a few years ago during the whole Mike Brown situation, let me go ahead and refresh your memory. Go ahead and check this out. ASAP Rocky continues to make headlines for all the wrong reasons. In 2015, the rapper told Time Out New York, and I quote, I'm ASAP Rocky. I did not sign up to be no political activist. I don't want to talk about no effing Ferguson and no shh, because I don't live out there. I live in effing Soho and Beverly Hills. I can't relate. I'm in the studio. I'm in these fashion studios. I'm in these <clears throat> drawers. I'm not doing anything that's outside of that. That's my life. Well, okay. After he got dragged on Twitter, the rapper went on The Breakfast Club to clarify his stance, but basically just repeated the same thing over and over again. All right, so you guys just heard uh, the quote from ASAP Rocky. So that's why a lot of black folks are feeling like, you know what, I'm not about to champion and say, you know, free ASAP, get him out of jail. I'm not signing no petition. Because when it came to black people here in America, he turned his back. He didn't care about the Mike Brown situation. He thought because he had a, you know, a silk Versace scarf on his damn head some damn glasses that he was above it he was above mike brown he was above racism because of what was in his bank account because of his status okay but he's learning very quickly in europe they don't give a fuck about none of that shit they don't care about your status they don't care about your fame they don't care that you're american you will adhere to the laws of their country period point blank okay now first let me go ahead and say this um, I know a lot of y'all want to say that, oh, well, he was antagonized. He was antagonized. People get antagonized every day, B. But at the end of the day, for every action, there is a reaction. And that's why I always tell people you have to weigh every situation, especially when you're not in America, when you're overseas. They, a lot of people overseas do not like Americans, especially black Americans, okay? Let's just p put it all out there. Let's just be honest. They don't like Americans, especially the black ones. So when you go overseas, you need to act accordingly, okay? Because you're in their country and your diplomatic status does not mean anything in a lot of these countries overseas, okay? ASAP Rocky did commit a crime. Let's not act like he didn't. He was fighting, he threw the boy, he physically assaulted him. Granted, the idiot, you know, he did instigate some stuff. He did harass them for blocks upon blocks. But that's what people do when you're a celebrity. They try to do things to antagonize you, okay? It happens all the time in America where paparazzis and strangers will come up and, you know, try and flex and record stuff for social media so they can clout chase and go viral. It happens all the time, okay? How you doing? What's up with you and 50? Taking off the camera, my nigga. You said what? Taking off the camera. What's up with you and 50? Taking off the camera. What you mean, take you off the camera, bro? So he said you fucking with trainers, is that true? Oh no, oh, no. we about to scrap. Is that true? Nah, we gonna do no scrap. Yeah, I got something in the car too. I got something in the car too. And when you have something to lose, you have to really think to yourself, is it worth it? 
And the fact that they were recording this and talking to the camera and saying, these guys have been following us. Look, dude, we don't want to beat y'all up. Look, we don't want to have a confrontation. Y'all go y'all way. We're going to go your way, our way. You know, the fact that they were recording all this seemed to me like they were playing into the game. And it seemed to me that they also want to flex for the gram because why even record all this? You know what I'm saying? Why even post it on social media? Why even get involved? You're ASAP Rocky. He should never have to lay no finger on nobody when you're paying for hired help. Point blank, period. Look, just for the cameras, we don't want no problems with these boys. They keep following us. Look at them. They keep following us. They jump those boys. And when you're the head of the organization, when you're the head of the damn franchise, you should never have to get your hands dirty. Period, okay? Yeah, they keep following We don't even no, know if they keep touching us and following us. He committed a crime in another country. He put his hands on somebody. That is assault. And it was on video. They're not going to have people running around their countries reckless and doing stupid shit. They're, that's just not how Europe runs, okay? You're just not going to be in their country just doing what the hell ever. This is not the streets of Harlem. This is not the streets of Brooklyn. This is Sweden. They run things differently over there. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, the whole situation is crazy. But, again... The fact that Sweden is not backing down says a lot. Now, it's also being reported today that there's also a rule in Sweden, okay? And they're saying, according to TMZ, Rocky may be paid millions of dollars in lost income if he's released without charges. Because in Sweden, they allow people who are arrested, if you're arrested and they find out that you're not guilty and they can't make the charges stick, once you get out of jail, they will recoup you and reimburse you for the time lost from your job and wages and things like that. America needs to take damn notes, okay? How many people have gotten pulled over for, let's say, speeding or, you know, accused of something and spent the whole weekend or spent a whole month in jail only for all the charges to be released and now they're out of work. They lost their job and things like that. In America, they don't give a damn. They're like, oh, well, bye, get out. You know, so in Sweden, it's different. They'll reimburse you. So they're saying that if Sweden does not come up with charges, they may have to pay ASAP Rocky millions of dollars because he was out there on tour to do a concert he's lost money because now he's not able to tour and go to other countries go to other venues so right now he's losing millions of dollars sitting there in jail so i believe this they're going to make those charges stick i'm sorry to be a debbie downer but i don't see sweden paying this young black man from harlem money for keeping him in jail for damn near three weeks if they don't if they don't plan on making those charges stick they're going to make those charges stick. And once they make those charges stick, how much time he may get, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Maybe he might just, it might be time served and let him out. But I believe they will charge him with something. All right, you guys, so we have some breaking news. I have recorded this video two days ago. I just hadn't gotten a chance to edit it yet. So... Once again, Negro Diamond strikes. Like I was saying earlier in the video from two days ago, I said Sweden is going to charge him. They're definitely going to make it stick because they're not trying to pay him back any damn money for his time lost. And looky, looky, today, as of three hours ago, I posted this on Instagram. And the news just broke today saying that ASAP Rocky has been charged with criminal assault and he's to remain in the sweetest jail. So this is what's being reported. They're saying ASAP Rocky has been charged with a crime after spending weeks in the sweetest jail. Prosecutors hit him with an assault charge and actual bodily harm stemming from a street brawl in the country's capital. If convicted, he could spend two years behind bars. The prosecutor said ASAP will continue to be held in jail pending a trial and the trial date has not been set. Although it could be today. Two members of Rocky's crew have also been charged with the same crime and they will also be held pending trial. The Swedish prosecutor just boasted that he has access to more information than people on the internet. He said he's reviewed the video and also talked to witnesses and determined that the claims by Rocky and his two crew members of self-defense and provocation didn't hold water despite the fact that the alleged victim is the one who was unrelentlessly harassing and attacked Rocky and his crew first. The prosecutor Prosecutor says he also considers the alleged victim statement, which he says was supported by witness statements. The alleged victim admits striking ASAP's body with a set of headphones, but only after the bodyguard allegedly lifted.
lifted him off the ground by his neck. So the prosecutors viewed the headphones attack as self-defense. The charge has been three weeks in the making. ASAP has been in jail alongside his two associates since turning himself into Swedish authorities earlier this month. So that's what's being reported. And right now they're saying that ASAP could be looking at six years in prison. So this situation has gotten even more serious than anybody could have suspected. At the end of the day, these are two different governments, two different countries. You know what I'm saying? They run their things differently. Five guys kicking and jumping somebody to the ground, that's not self-defense. That's you guys trying to show off for the gram. You know what I'm saying? That's y'all just doing a bit much in another country when you really should have been walking a fine line because a lot of these European countries, they're not feeling you, okay? So I hope that one thing that comes from all of this is that it humbles ASAP Rocky, okay? I think he's a cool guy. You know, he has a great fashion sense. But besides that, the comments that he made all those years ago are now coming back to bite him in the ass. Never think that you've made it so big, that you've made it so large, that you cannot be affected by racism and unfair practices. And... You know, he was saying that everything with Mike Brown, that don't have nothing to do with me. I'm not in the hood. I don't live in Ferguson. I'm in Soho. I'm in Beverly Hills. Well, that same arrogant, pompous attitude is not helping you now in 2019. Because outside of America, there are countries that they really focus on just justice. They don't care about your status. They don't care about your money. They don't care about your fame. And Sweden is definitely trying to make an example out of him. If you want to come to our country, you're going to act accordingly. Period, point blank. You want to come to Europe and, you know, perform for your fans? You're more than welcome. But we're not going to do, you're not going to, you're not bringing Harlem to Europe. That's what a lot of black entertainers and a lot of entertainers in general need to understand that. There are different sets of laws. Donald Trump, he don't run shit. They looked at him like, you deal with what the fuck you got going on in your country and leave us over here to deal with what we got going on over here in our country. Period, point blank. So this entire situation is going to be very, very interesting to see how this plays out. You know, hopefully he will get out soon enough. But if he doesn't, these are just some of the consequences for that particular behavior. I understand it's not home, but he's not, you know, suffering in the words of somebody who's locked up in a North Korean prison. Okay, so let's get that clear. So the whole situation is crazy. Like I said, it's going to be very interesting to see how this plays out. But again, people need to realize there are consequences for every decision that we make out here. You know, so while they were trying to record stuff for the gram and, you know, show video of them getting harassed. And now all this stuff is being used as evidence against them. Every situation is not worth the fight because now the dude who done instigated shit, he's free and living his best life. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation concerning ASAP Rocky and his mother now speaking out and her feeling like there's no hope. Like if Trump couldn't get her son out, what will get her son out? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces. <laughs>